Well, welcome back to Den's Biking Adventures. Thought I'd take a few moments today and discuss about uh, the month of April, biking every day for 10 kilometers a day. Uh, first off, uh, a few accomplishments for the month. It was a total of 325 kilometers. Um, most of it road, some of it was single track. Uh, you know, it was all dependent on uh, weather. Um, it was, uh, I noticed with the rides, my cardio was better, but not necessarily, not necessarily the speed of time of some of the routes. Some of the routes, the uh, more difficult routes, I definitely got quicker at. Some of the, uh, the easier routes was uh, same timing, it's just it was easier to do. So, um, as much as it's disappointing not seeing anything better than the timing, timings don't necessarily matter. It, matter to, it matters more to me of the effort that I had to put behind it to do, uh, to do that distance. So, things I would do differently. I think if I do this uh, biking for a month, which I think I'm still gonna, I'm gonna do this again. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna set a kilometer amount. I think I'm just gonna put it as biking for the day. So some days might only be four or five kilometers, depending on how the legs feel. And other days might be 15 or 20, especially as we get into the nicer weather. Um, and get into the single track and that. There's a lot more of that coming up. Um, also, I think the timing, the month. I don't think April was the best month. April showers <laughs> this month, April snow, April showers, April minus this, you know, negative temperatures. I think in that uh, next time I do this, um, I'm thinking either June or do June, July and August, all three months, bike, bike once a day. I know I have uh, possibly a training course in June that I wouldn't be able to bike every single day because I'd be out on course. So, you know, it all depends whether I get on that, whether I start in June, but I'm thinking uh, July, August, and maybe even September. Three months, uh, bike every day, no set kilometers. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, what else I have here just going to my notepad. The other thing I failed at is even though I was doing the kilometers, you know, we had a, uh, a couple parties. Uh, it was an early uh, anniversary party there for my wife and I. So that, uh, you know, my diet wasn't the best, right? For a few days around there, which uh, didn't, uh, didn't help me. You know, over the, over the month, I still lost 12 pounds which is nothing to shake your head at, it is still pretty good. It's just, I was hoping for a little bit more, but uh, if you don't have a good diet while you're doing this, your, your body is not gonna give you the results you want. Um, I've definitely proven that to myself. So, future, like I mentioned, let me know what you think, June, July, August, no set kilometers, or do I do one month set kilometers, two months set kilometers per day? Um, let me know what you think. Interesting uh, your ideas. Uh, things coming up on this channel. Uh, thought I'd fill you in on. Uh, this Saturday I have a clinic with the uh, mini adventures uh, down in the comments. I'll post their link. Um, post it for Instagram, their Facebook, and uh, their website. Uh, they have lots of clinics uh, throughout the summer and weekly rides. Uh, they're based out of uh, Durham, but uh, I signed up for a clinic out in uh, at the Trail Hub this Saturday. And then I have a clinic for three days here in Millbrook. And then I'm at a ride out with them in Batawawa in, uh, or Batawa in uh, July. Um, so that's all coming up with them. Um, and then in July, July 22nd, I have the eight hour epic hard epic ride in Harwood. I am doing the eight hour solo. Uh, my goal is not to win. My goal is to see how many laps I personally can do. Uh, my personal goal is, uh, you know, four, four laps, but 
we'll get into that as we get closer to the time. For now, if you like this, please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you uh, with a video on how it goes this Saturday. Thanks so much. Take care and talk to you soon.